Gay Organic Garden I'm here at the Grange Fairgrounds in Center Hall at the Pennsylvania Organic Corn Fest. I'm uh, going to be here for the next two days, so let's go take a look around. GMO Free Pennsylvania. Hi, how are you today? What we would love for you to do is to currently write your senators because of HR 1599 that passed on the Congress level, um, on the federal level. The reason is, is first off, is preemption of states' rights. This is one of the first laws that I've ever heard of where actually they are stopping laws that are already in existence, like the Vermont law that's on labeling of genetically engineered ingredients in your food supply, which is supposed to go into effect of July of 2016. Also, another big concern for me is that they want to label or make the word natural a legal term to include genetically engineered ingredients. Now, in my belief system, that is not true. Anything that is man-made like that and that has changed the DNA of a plant is not natural. 
So please do talk to Senator Casey and or Senator Toomey. And if you want, you can always contact us and we will send you this lovely this, this card and you can write them yourself. So thank you for your time. Enjoy the show at the Pennsylvania Certified Organic Farm Fest. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I'm here at the Thorben booth. I have seaweed for animals and for plants. And for people. And for people. 100% organic, the first wild harvest organic seaweed. And what's the difference between these two? This is water soluble. Basically, this seaweed, Ascophyllum nodosum, you treat it with sodium hydroxide, which is a lye. Okay. Then you pH neutralize it, dry it, and it's ready to use as a spray to feed plants. Okay. It is allowed in organics, but it's not certified organic. Okay. And uh, what are some of the benefits of using seaweed for your plants? Well, there's all kinds of micronutrients that are missing from soils. We've, we've abused the land. Uh, many areas are deficient in things like selenium. Uh, this gives you a chance to build that soil back, to put it the way it used to be. And there's a lot of benefits to that. If you're doing it to soil that uh, animals are eating, then the animals get the uh, benefit of eating forage that have those micronutrients added back to them. Or you can feed the kelp directly to the animal to give them that boost of micronutrients. And, uh, do you have the big bags of this available for sale? We do through Lancaster Egg. They sell a 50 pound bag of it. Oh, okay. We don't have any with us today. Okay, great. And, uh, what's the what's the website? Or? Uh, well, ours is www.thorvin, T-H-O-R-V-I-N.com. And Lancaster Eggs. Lancaster Egg. Okay, great. Thanks for your time. So, my name is Casey Rogers. I work for a company called the Fertral Company. We're based out of South Central Pennsylvania in Bainbridge. Uh, we are the United States' oldest uh, manufacturer of organic fertilizers. And we now do fertilizer, soil amendments, and livestock vitamin and mineral supplements. Uh, we have dealerships across the United States that can get products uh, throughout the country. And we do specialized organics. Um, and we help farmers get set up, do management, um, we'll do soil samples and forage samples. We, yeah, do whatever you need us to do to help the entire farm. Great. Uh, do you have a website? We do. It's www.fertrell.com. Super easy. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Yeah, there we are. Yeah, welcome, welcome, everybody. We're here at the Farm Fest uh, at the Democratic Tent for Center County Democrats. Uh, we've got some important races for some of our row offices. Uh, we also have some of the statewide judicial races that are going to be playing a big part in some important issues such as voting rights, redistricting. Uh, so we're just encouraging people to go out and vote in the, in the November election. My name is Mike Pipe, one of the commissioners. We've got Nancy Parks, a good volunteer. Mark Higgins, running for county commissioner. Uh, I'm a business person. I would like to uh, promote agricultural technology in the county and even in the state, organic and otherwise. Uh, agriculture is the largest industry in Pennsylvania, if I'm not mistaken, and I think it should receive a lot of support, and we can continue to grow that area to create good, good paying jobs, good paying local jobs. Hi, and I'm Georgie Bennett, and I'm running for Reporter of Deeds. This is my first time in public office, and I appreciate your support in the effort. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Thank you. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, I have a thought, if you're still running that the Democratic Party is the party that's going to bring to you the jobs of the future. We're the ones that are going to bring to you the alternative energy sources for, to make electricity and to bring manufacturing to the country. And in fact, um, the, the manufacturers, the, the employees who make wind turbines and the parts of wind turbines are now, there are more of them now, those kinds of employees, than there are coal miners in this country. Great. So alternative energy for the future. So my Great name is Cheryl, and this is my organic body care line. It's a little messy out there right now, but anyway, um, everything is made with organic ingredients as much as possible, at minimum 95% organic ingredients, and pure therapeutic grade essential oils. They are also hand poured in prayer, and there are two new quartz crystal singing bowls, so they're very high energy. Um, 
I do grow a lot of my own plants and infuse oils and things of that nature, um, and, but I do not make my own essential oils. Uh, it's really important what we put on our bodies and in our bodies. Um, it, we live in a very toxic world, so it's really important that we take care of ourselves and cleanse and get rid of as many toxins as we can and watch the chemicals that we're putting on our bodies. So this is a great way to not pull in any more toxins that we that is necessary. So if you want more information, we have a website, the set the sensual soul is S C E N T U A L as in scent smell soul.com and we do ship all over the place if anybody's interested and we also have a healing retreat the sycamore spirit healing retreat.com and also find us on facebook and like us so we can share more information thanks yeah, here at the underhill farms uh holidaysburg they have artisan yarns and uh can you tell me a little bit about your farm or your products sure we live in the west loop and we raised Lester Longwell sheep, and our sheep we bought from Colonial Williamsburg because they are, have, it's a rare breed and they have his, historic significance. They were raised by George Washington, Thomas Jefferson. In fact, George Washington had around 900 of them. But they became non existent in North America and in 1990 Colonial Williamsburg researched and found a small flock in Tasmania, Australia. Brought the flock back. In fact, we just celebrated our 25th year in the United States at the Maryland Woolen Sheep Festival this year. And all of our sheep are Lester Longwolves, and we also raise Angora goats. And from them, we get the mohair. And so what we do is we send it off to small mills in the United States and we get all kinds of yarn returned. And so we dye it and uh, Singleton Fiber will dye theirs and then we sell it. Great. Uh, do you have a website? Yes. It is underhillfarmpa.com. Great. And I also guard, those are mine. Beautiful. Now, do you do like vegetable gardening or just like flowers and pollinator? I have both. I have both. Great, that's the way to be. But we also have black sheep. So and fun. we can mix the fiber and you can get a gray. If you mix the black and white, you get gray. Hmm. Great. Well, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Yes, I do. You can <laughs> tell the people on my YouTube channel. Okay, <laughs> this is a smart clean laundry ball. It cleans your clothes without using any chemicals. Oh. This is what it looks like on the inside. These are ceramics, earth ceramics. They're baked. One of them is an antimicrobial ball. One is an anti-chlorine ball. One is an infart ball. Let me go over here so I can make sure I get it. One is an infart ball. And one is a chlorine removal ball. So these are all the different components that are in here of what cause the pH of the water to rise so that the water molecules get so small they can get into the fiber of your clothes. Okay. And that's what takes the dirt out. It works the same way like laundry did this dirt, but without any chemicals. So there's no chemical residue in your water. There's no chemical that can get into your body. There's no chemical that can, you know, affect your liver or your kidneys. Yeah. So it's a much, much more safer way of doing laundry. The ball itself is an agitator. It goes around and beats the clothes up. 365 washes, so it lasts about a year, so you can do one load of laundry um, a day. Okay? And how you know when the ball is finished, the pellets get so small that they can actually fall through the holes here. Then we also have the stain stick that accompanies it. This takes out all kind of stains. You know, it's good for baby diapers, anything. It takes out berries, ink, blood, anything. And it's all natural, made of all natural components. It, that's always good. <laughs> yes, it is always good. So that's a smart clean laundry ball. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Great, I'm here at the Book Nook with author Robin Moore. And uh, so tell me a little bit about your books. Well, I was lucky yes. because when I graduated from college, I couldn't find a job. <laughs> I ended up moving up into the woods. I was inspired by Henry David Thoreau's book, Walden. And so I thought I would give it up uh, a try. And I uh, lived up in the woods for two and a half 
years. This is the uh, historical fiction book that I wrote about the place where I live, Leslie Zook's farm, is now there. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I got my degree in journalism, couldn't find a job, but uh, I sold uh, my first book to HarperCollins and it was a success. And that was 35 years ago. And uh, I've done 17 books since then. And I haven't had to get to do a day's work in 35 years. So uh, that was very fortunate. And these books are really ones that are based on the folklore of central Pennsylvania. I uh, collected a lot of stories from the Pennsylvania mountains. I also looked into old stories that were archived in um, uh, books from folklorists who had collected tales from this part of the country. So, uh, yeah, so I've, I've done school programs and I've done books ever since, but it was all based on my roots right here in Center County. If you'd like to uh, look at any of my programs or my books, you can go to my website. It's just my name. It's robinfaithandmore.com. And uh, I hope you enjoy reading some of these books about Center County. Great. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Association for Sustainable Agriculture is a farmer education uh, membership based organization where we educate farmers and growers to produce healthy food for every person. We um, are based in Milheim, Pennsylvania, but we are a nationwide organization and we'd love to have your support. Great. Uh, do you have a website? We have a website. It's pasafarming.org. Great. Wow, well, thank you. Thank you. So we're almost done with our first day at the Pennsylvania Organic Farm Fest, and we're heading down to the dance, the barnyard dance. Yeah, come on, check out the music. Yeah. <laughs> 